What is myocarditis? The word myocarditis is made up of three parts. Myo meaning muscle, card meaning heart, and itis meaning inflammation. Put it all together and you will have inflammation of the heart muscle. You see, your heart has three important layers. The epicardium, which is the outer layer, the myocardium, which is the thick muscular layer, and the endocardium, which is the inner layer. In myocarditis, the middle muscular layer becomes inflamed. And why can this be dangerous? Because the middle layer is what gives the heart its power to pump. If your pump is inflamed, then it won't function properly, and this can lead to arrhythmias and heart failure. Sometimes this can happen so fast and severe, which is referred to as fulminant myocarditis, which has a very high mortality rate. This can also lead to sudden cardiac death. But why does this inflammation happen? Well, there are multiple etiologies for myocarditis. It can be due to infectious or non-infectious causes. The most common cause is viral infection. Viruses such as Coxsackie B virus, adenovirus, hepatitis C, cytomegalovirus, echovirus, influenza, Epstein-Barr, and parvovirus B19 are known to cause myocarditis. But how? Well, the virus enters your heart muscles by using the cell surface receptors. One of the most common receptors used for entry is called the Coxsackie adenovirus receptor, also known as CAR. Upon entry to the heart muscle, the virus seizes the cell's resources and infrastructure and basically becomes the commander-in-chief. It then starts replicating itself, which translates into cell injury and subsequent inflammation of the heart muscle, or in better words, myocarditis. Treatment of this situation is mostly based on addressing the underlying etiology along with supported treatments such as decreasing the workload on the heart and sometimes increasing the heart's pumping power. Restricting alcohol intake and limiting exercise are also important during the acute phase. Remember, patients with myocarditis may develop non-specific symptoms such as chest pain, fever, rash, or even edema. So, if you have recognized any of these symptoms, you should speak with your doctor as soon as possible. You can always like and share this video later.